Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have solved an another sum on orthographic projection where we have been given the three dimensional figure and we have to draw its front view, top view and side view. So here x direction represents front view, y direction represents side view. Now to begin with the sum you can see this direction as it is the front view this is on the left so right side here will be the front view here will be the top view here will be the side view. Now to start with the sum we will first draw the axis lines you can see the width required to draw the front view this side side view and the top view so according to this we have drawn the axis x y x dash y dash axis and 5 millimeters apart we are drawing the base lines where we will draw our views so this will make it easier to draw the views so these are the baseline now let's begin with the sum first we'll start with the front view x direction as you can see there is a straight dark line of 39 millimeters this is the total width of 39 millimeters we'll draw this dark so from here the base we will start with the figure so 39 millimeters this will be a straight dark line then we have a straight line perpendicular the distance is not given directly so we can calculate it from the top or you can start drawing from the top and you will come at the bottom so the total height given is 24 millimeter so from here 24 millimeter above I'll mark a point here also 24 millimeter above And using roller scale, we'll draw a rectangular box. So make this dark. So this line is total straight dark line. There are zigzag lines, but from the front view, it will look straight. Now here you can see there is a groove, a cut part. So that will be a cut depression at the below. So I'll draw this line lightly first. As you know, at the center there is a cut part. Now from both the ends, there is a dimension given that is 13 millimeters. So 13 millimeters here dark line and here also 13 millimeters dark line. Now the cut part is at the center this distance is and the height of the cut part is 8 millimeters that is given so from here 8 millimeters below I'll mark a point we'll draw a light line there you can extend it towards the side view also later we will require the lines so I'm already extending to the side view. Now this cut part is at the center. It's a V shape. So here I'll mark the center point. So 39 center point mark it accordingly. That will be around 19.5 millimeters. And from there you can draw a V shape. this V shape is done next this slant lines will look straight from the front view the height is given this dimension is also given this is 12 millimeters from both sides so 12 millimeters this is 12 this is 12 so there is a plus shape like half plus shape the height given is 8 millimeters so from here 8 millimeters below I'll mark a point so I'll draw a light line here also now here from here you can see this is two lines and there is a above so see how I'm drawing it so taking this as the reference line so from here I am marking a dark line at the top, dark line at the top, so this is the shape. 
joining this so this is the shape we have drawn i'll just mark the view which will be visible from the front view so this part is visible from the front view this part is visible from the front view this part is visible the dotted part will represent the front view so this part so this will be two dark lines here and here the slant part is also visible this you can see this will be visible but this will look straight so this is the slant part but it is looking straight from the front view so this slant part as you can see it looks straight from the front view this is the upper part and we are totally done with the front view now moving towards the top view for drawing the top view we have to take all the projections from the front view towards the top side to taking all this projection downwards towards the top view draw the parallel lines properly so the projection will be properly done now starting with the top view i'll just mark which part will be visible from the top view so this part this part is visible from the top view then this part is totally visible from the top view and this two triangles this part is also visible but it will look straight from the top view now to draw this this zigzag line as you can see from the top view will also look straight so there will be a straight rectangular box from the top view so this total distance will be 28 mm i marked a point so from the top this distance is already from the front view so this distance is from the front view and the top view we have seen the distance of 28 mm there will be this rectangular box so this outer border will be visible from the top view now the inner part so this square we have to draw the width is already from the front view so this is the width from the front view and height we will mark it so till here it is the distance so this is 13 as you know we have been projecting from it from the front view this height is from the top view so marking it 13 mm first drawing it light as the square is on both the sides i'll make it dark so from here downwards dark line and from here downwards dark line and joining here making this part dark so this square is here it will be dark and this square is here so these are the both two squares from the top now this v shape will be dark from the top view so drawing this and there will be a dark line at the center of the cut part so this is how it will be visible from the top view now bottom part as you can see this distance given is 7 mm and there is a joining so from here 7 mm i'll mark a point i'll draw a light line from there till then taking the projections to the side view also now here you can see you have the slant lines and it is intersecting till the point just take the projection properly from the front view so here will be the slant line like this so draw this part dark so this is this line and here also it will be a dark line just see the projection it is this part draw this part dark and this is already dark so we are done with the top view now moving towards the side view you know the process for the side view you have to draw a 45 degree angle line take all the projections from the top view to the 45 degree angle line and from the 45 degree angle line upward towards the side view and then taking projections 
from the front view as well to the side view now this part is visible from the side view this shape is visible from the side view so drawing this this will be the straight dark line opposite l shape will be there now this part projection is available from the top view don't have to take dimensions to draw the side view as the projections are already there this height is from the front view that is 8 millimeters the height then again this part is from the top view that is 7 millimeters then this height is from the front view then this part again is from the top view so drawing this dark and finally joining this part it is from the front view and this part will be totally dark the bottom part now when you look from the side view the cut inner part that is this v shape is hidden in the side view so that part will be dotted in the side view so taking this projection here and this part will be a dotted line so the v shape will be a dotted line here as it is hidden now the final part in the side view is this part this slant line the slant part is also visible from the side view but it will be not slant it will look straight from the side view so this part we have to make it dark so the slant part and making this so the slant part will look like a rectangular shape from the side view now you are totally done with the sum just mark off the dimensions which are given in the question and we are done Finally mark the views, front view, top view and the side view. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts, any queries, let me know in the comment section. You can also connect with me on Instagram.